India has earned a rightful label as being the pharmacy of the world because its generic sector, which really develops and manufactures synthetically derived chemical medicines, has done wonders uh, for the world at large. I think uh, generic medicines today have really, really made a big difference to global healthcare. Biocon is trying to emulate this success in the form of biologicals and biosimilars. We believe that uh, you know India uh, has a large number of capabilities and the cost base makes it very attractive to deliver affordable medicines to the world. And we believe that Biocon is in a very unique position to significantly bring down the prices of biologicals or biopharmaceuticals, which are very, very expensive drugs at this point in time in the Western world. And we are one of the very early entrants into this space of biopharmaceuticals uh, in the form of biosimilars. And through this entry, we hope to significantly reduce the prices of some life-saving drugs, which at this point in time are prohibitively expensive. Biocon chose to be in a very differentiated path of developing biologicals or large molecules uh, and biosimilars, which nobody else in the country was looking at. Because at that point in time, um, you know, developing generics, small molecules, synthetically derived chemical medicines was the thing to do. And there was a lot of expertise, know-how and global scale uh, in which to actually develop these uh, chemically synthesized uh, small molecules. As a policy, as an entrepreneur, my strategy has always been one of differentiation. And I felt that, you know, differentiating ourselves by developing large molecules or biologicals or biopharmaceuticals and biosimilars was going to give us a very unique position uh, in the Indian market and in the global market. And of course, we, you know, basically stepped on to this path uh, very, with very deliberate strategy and uh, knowing jolly well that, you know, this was going to be a very challenging path. This was going to be a very gestational path because it was going to take much longer to develop a biopharmaceutical than it was to develop, say, a generic small molecule. But having said that, I think uh, we are beginning to see very rich rewards uh, which are going to, you know, start giving us a very huge payback in the foreseeable future. Unfortunately, uh, when countries and companies become very successful, there is always uh, an effort from companies that are threatened in the West to basically lash back. And the easiest way for them to do it is to basically create a cloud of suspicion and skepticism about the ability of companies in uh, the developing world to produce quality drugs. And, uh, you know, because of the kind of infrastructure we have uh, and the kind of uh, uh, basic perception there is about the developing world, it's very easy for these kind of uh, companies and campaigns to smear the name of uh, Indian companies. Biocon also has been at the receiving end of such smear campaigns, but we believe that the only way to answer them is to basically develop high quality product because we believe Biocon, uh, Biocon's motto has always been highest quality at lowest cost. And we have actually challenged them in their own markets. And we've got a very good and impeccable track record with uh, US FDA and European re drug regulators. And then we also challenge them on the basis of IP. So once you start earning their respect, it's very difficult for them to continually, you know, taint your name. So we are actually giving it back because at the end of the day, I think if you can really compete with them on behalf of patients to make these drugs more affordable, I think you really win the day. Biocon has done extremely well and is now showing strong leadership in biosimilars. 
I think I feel very proud of the fact that Biocon is the first company to file a biosimilar trastuzumab dossier which has been accepted by the US FDA. I think this is a huge milestone. This is a huge credibility milestone that tells you we are beating innovators, we are beating other biosimilar companies because being the first to file a biosimilar trastuzumab is no mean feat. And I think uh, we've actually shared a lot of the data that was generated from this, uh, the, the clinical trials of this biosimilar uh, at leading uh, conferences like ASCO and ESMO and we've had publications on the data that we have generated in JAMA, uh, the Journal of American Medicine. So, you know, I think this actually builds huge credibility for the product. I think it's a very high quality product and uh, I'm sure the innovators themselves recognize the fact that they can no longer, you know, smear uh, the quality of this product or uh, the name of uh, our company, uh, which they have tried to do. So I think both Mylan and Biocon are great believers that we can actually lead the way in biosimilars. We can beat a number of these players in biosimilars, including the innovators, and take a leadership position. Today, I think immuno-oncology is really creating a new treatment paradigm for cancer. It is now clearly recognized that cancer is an immunological disorder. And there is deep understanding and you know now increasing depth of understanding of cancer immunology which is actually leading to very, very novel ways of treating cancer. And it's very interesting to know that in many of these cases, we're actually not only arresting cancer, but even curing cancer in many ways. So I think the path ahead is very exciting. Um, you know, the, fit, the, the fatality of cancer is now reducing. And I think that's what is important. And I think it is transforming the way we look at cancer and it is giving hope to people who otherwise felt it was a death sentence that it no longer is. I think if you look at uh, the way ahead in terms of uh, cancer immunology and new cancer drugs, I think there are such exciting kind of developments in cancer uh, therapy that uh, in five years time, I think a large number of cancers will be very manageable. Uh, I don't think uh, it, uh, you know, the survival timelines will only double and you know in many cases cancers will be cured uh, today many of these cancers such as pancreatic cancer and gliomas uh, have a very very short uh, survival timeline and I believe that this will increase dramatically and in some of these cases those cancers will even disappear I think India needs to leverage its cost and talent base in a, in a very competitive way to you know really come out with uh, a product that has very high quality and at a very competitive cost price. I think that's what it's all about. And India must focus on affordability because that's what it needs for its people. And if it can deliver affordable drugs, which are otherwise very expensive, I think it can make a huge difference to global healthcare.